welcome welcome to the sunny lava show episode two and i'm your host sunny all right <coughs> guys this whole stream yard thing is just so confusing sometimes but here i am a couple minutes late but i'm here as you guys are on say hello let me know where you're coming from and i am using Streamyard, so Streamyard sometimes not not sometimes Streamyard does not show me your name so please click on the link in the description above and give Streamyard permission so that i can see your name when you comment all right so if you read the description do you ever feel that you are scrolling on social media and you are feeling jealousy or envy like those feelings where you're like you know oh my god why is this person look happier or why do they have that and i don't if you feel that we're going to talk about that today um if you are a person who scrolls through social media and nothing bothers you then this is not for you but if if you feel that jealousy or that envy then you want to stick around i'm going to have some tips but also talk about it like why is it like that why do we feel jealousy or envy i do have my notes so i'll be looking here once in a while but let me introduce myself my name is sunny and i'm coming to you live from calgary canada we had our first snow guys yes Whew. it's gonna be a long and cold <laughs> winter um those of you who know me you know that i do not like cold cold doesn't sit well with me and i i just don't like cold um that's the reason i moved to costa rica last year but i'm back because of covid and we will deal through this winter together <laughs> all right a little bit about myself that i didn't mention in the first episode and someone told me i should so i want to let you guys know that i uh, started this show to empower others uh, to be their authentic self so to embrace our flaws but still be true to ourselves to not be affected by everything that's going outside and not to get into comparison or imitate others but just be true to ourselves to believe in ourselves to be more confident to get rid of self-doubt to get rid of limiting beliefs that's the purpose of this show with my background in psychology i have a background in psychology and then i have a life coaching certification uh, with that this is something that i really want to do and make a difference i wanted to help people um change their lives start believing in themselves and be be their authentic self and that's the purpose of this show so let's get started now we all are on social media tell me if you're not i mean if you're watching this of course you're on social media but tell me okay tell me this good morning jasmine tell me in the comments how many social media platforms are you on that's what I want to know. How many social media platforms are you on? Now, some of some of us consider WhatsApp as social media. Some of us don't. Let's count that in. Um, I am on one, two, three, four, five, six, six, maybe seven. I don't know. I'm on like six social media platforms. So how many social media platforms are you on? And when you're scrolling through, do you feel jealousy? I do. I definitely do. I have overcome that up to a limit, but literally I'm like this transformation has been so quick. Literally three months ago, I would be scrolling through my news feed and I would go through these emotions, these emotions of jealousy, envy. Like, you know, I would look at others and think that, oh my God, their life looks perfect. Or, oh, that person's business is better than mine or they're making so much money and I'm not, right? I used to feel that. Do you feel that? Do you feel jealousy or envy? So why, why do we feel that? Well, as humans, we are social animals, right? Humans are social animals and we are designed in a way that uh, we want to be in harmony with everyone. And we want to have a similar kind of status with everyone. But when we see someone doing better than us, we start getting those emotions and it's natural. Don't beat yourself up. It's okay. It's natural to be jealous or to be envious. We all feel that it's okay. Don't be jealous of, uh, don't be like, don't beat yourself up and don't think that, oh my God, you know, why do I feel that? I shouldn't be feeling that it's okay. Accept your emotions, but it is normal. Now there's two types of 
jealousy or envy. Actually, I should say there's a difference between being jealous or not. So let me let me explain it to you. So jealousy is um, when you see someone succeeding or see someone, they have something that you don't have, right? And you feel low. You feel kind of have this negative energy and you're like, oh, I wish I had that, right? And that's okay. That's normal. We all feel that because we want to achieve our dreams. We want to have do big things in life. And it's okay to feel that. But there is the second version of it where when you see someone and they have something, but you want to sabotage them, you want them to lose it. You want to take it away from them, right? That is not healthy. And if you're feeling that, we need work to do. We have a lot of work to do. So when you see someone, they have something and you want it, it's okay. It's normal. Yes, you'll be jealous. Maybe you'll feel a little negative. And that's what we don't want to feel. And we'll, we'll work on that today. We will talk about that today. But if you want to hurt them or you want to take it away from them or you want them to lose it, that's not healthy. And you really need to sit and think, why are you feeling that? Okay, so that's the difference. There's two levels of jealousy. Actually, jealousy and envy are also two different things. Uh, but we'll, we'll in, for, the, for the sake of this live today, this video today, we'll just consider them as one thing. Um, but that's, that's the difference. So what is jealousy? It, it is a feeling, right? It's an emotion. It's a feeling. And it's a feeling when we want something that the other person has. So jealousy is the feeling when we want something that the other person has and we don't and and it makes us get into that depression feeling and it's really bad right the truth is that when we are jealous of others we're actually causing distress to ourselves because now we are discontent right we are resent we feel resentment um <clears throat> we feel bitter uh we um we spiral into this downward, we go into this downward spiral of uh, um, depression almost, right? And it also makes us do something that we would normally not do. How many of you have felt that? That you're scrolling through social media or you're talking to a friend and they tell you about some achievement and instead of feeling good or happy for them, you feel negative and you feel jealous. If you feel that, tell me in the comments, me, just say me in the comments or say, yes, I feel jealous, jealousy. And it's okay to accept it. Trust me, I have been there and I'm accepting it. Let me, let me give you an example, not a specific example, but kind of an idea. Um, a few months ago, I was in this, and I've talked about this before, I kind of lost my business, my network marketing business to another business a lot of my team members left and they went with this other business and i was sad which is okay of course you know i had worked hard to build this team and i was sad but then which is okay which is normal but then as i'm scrolling through social media i started seeing other people having success in this new company and i wanted to have that i didn't want to i think it didn't go to that level where i wanted to sabotage them but i felt sorry for myself and I wanted that, I wanted that same success, especially that I actually had that success before and I lost it. So I was going through that feeling of loss, feeling of sadness, and then on top of that, there was this jealousy, right? And I literally beat myself down for a few days. And then I had to tell myself that, but that's not what I want. I'm just seeing these people and they're posting stuff and I'm seeing that they have this, but is that what I really want? And when I really sat down with that, I realized that that was not something I wanted. So I do have five tips for you guys for today on how you can get, how you can overcome that feeling. So we will talk about that. But I went through that and I just like literally went through this really, really um, low moment in my life. I mean, I've been through many more low moments, but low moment in my business life, I should say, where I wanted to just, you know, beat myself and just you know feel sad for myself and feel sorry for myself and almost feel depressed you know and that then i realized um thank you son thank you son 
Um, and then I realized that I don't even want that. I'm just feeling jealous because of the sadness that I was going through, but I didn't want that. And when I realized that what I wanted was this, I wanted my own show. I wanted to help people. I wanted to coach people. That's what I really wanted. Right. But this whole thing and with social media, it's really hard because it's always in our face. Right. How much time do you spend on social media? Let me hear in the comments. How much time do you spend every day scrolling on social media? Give me an idea. I'll tell you mine. And I mean, it's bad, but I run my business on social media. So for Instagram, I spend about two hours a day. Sometimes it goes over that two and a half hours, maybe. And for Facebook, I spend about two to three hours a day. But now that also includes uh, watching some trainings and stuff. Hey, Kyla, I love you. Um, that's how much time I spend. Have you guys watched the movie The Social Dilemma? If you haven't, you have to go watch it. It is such a big reality check, that movie. We spend so much time on social media, and I'm not going to get into this movie of social movie and what all they talked about, maybe another topic for another day. But it tells you that how much we're affected by this. Eight to 10 hours, Kyla. Oh my God. Probably mine would have been bad, but I have been really, really, really careful. Hey, Kate. Yes, that movie was crazy. Um, actually, after watching the movie, I went and checked my times. And now um, here's a little extra takeaway, a tip, a takeaway. So if you go, I have a Samsung, but I'm sure iPhone has that. But if you go on your phone, there is something called digital. So in Samsung, if you go to settings, there's something called digital well-being and parental controls. So if you go into digital well-being, you can actually set up a time for the apps. I limit my social media use to about two hours a day. It was bad at one point. That's amazing, Kate. I don't know how you're able to do that. I spend about two hours on Facebook and about two hours on Instagram. And I know that because I've set a time limit. So you've set it, you can set a time limit for every app on under this digital well-being. And after the time has crossed it literally grays out your app you can't click on it anymore little tip tidbit there a little tip um so let's talk about jealousy let's talk about it so i have five tips for you guys on how you can overcome that jealousy or envy that you're feeling when you see others succeeding um number one the most important thing that you need to understand is you need to understand marketing if you are a marketer, you already know this, that a lot of stuff that you see on social media is not true. Or even if it is true, it is written in a way because me being a marketer myself, I've done copywriting courses. It's written in a way that it invokes those uh, feelings of je jealousy or envy. Um, Kyla, if you find it on Apple phone, please let us know. Um, I know it is there because well, my husband's phone is not here, but he set it up. So I know it's there. Um, digital well-being. Like it is so amazing, guys. Like literally. Oh, second, another another little one. Turn off the notifications. I have all my notifications off. Yes, sometimes a couple of people have said, oh, you know, you didn't check your message. But I have a timer on my phone, like an alarm, where I check my messages three times a day. That's it. All my notifications are off. I check my messages three times a day, quickly catch up on them and move on. That's another little tip. Every every notification, I'm, I'm serious, all notifications, no matter what it is. My Facebook, my Instagram, my Messenger, my WhatsApp, everything is off. I don't have more notifications on my phone. Um, anyway, so understand the marketing, the way advertising works. Awesome, Kala. I'll catch you later. Um, the way marketing works or way mar advertising works is that it is meant to invoke. They use words or images or phrases to invoke those feelings of jealousy or envy. I mean, you understand that. Why? Right? Because they want you to go buy that product or that service. Right. So everything you see on social media, especially if you are in a coaching or network marketing field, which I am, um, you, your feed is probably full of other network marketers. Right. And all of them get the same kind of training. 
So whatever you see on there, it's written, even if it, I'm not saying it's a lie. If someone is saying, oh, I made this much money or oh, I live this lifestyle, I'm not saying it's a lie, but it's the way they write it, the words and the phrases that they use, that it invokes jealousy in you. So you need to understand that. That's the first thing, the most important thing. Understand that you're only looking at the highlight reel of a person's life, right? And this brings me to the second point that no one has it all figured out. No one has it all perfect, right? Um, people only show the positives on social media, which is a good thing. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. If you are a marketer, here's a tidbit. Do not post all the negative Nelly stuff on your social media. Be positive. Even if you're going through something negative, take that, talk about it, but then show how you're overcoming it, right? So a lot of the stuff that you see, people don't show the struggle. People don't show themselves when they wake up in the morning. I mean, I put makeup on for this life, right? So people don't show themselves. They use filters. I use filters and it's okay. It's totally fine to use filters, but you need to be aware of that. That when you see someone's flawless skin, maybe there's a filter or they put makeup on just... I just said I don't have notifications and then guess what happened? Sorry. I only have notifications for my important meetings in my calendar. So that was my calendar. My calendar is the only notification that comes on. And it is because in 10 minutes, I have a training video. Training. Um, so people only show the positive. They only show the highlight reel. So you need to understand that, that others don't have it all figured out. They don't have that perfect life. They're probably going through stuff which you don't probably see, right? So you have to understand that. Um, so number one, number two. Number three is focus on the good in your life. Gratitude. Be grateful for what you have. Be grateful for the good in your life. I'm still figuring out the stream. I suddenly I clicked on a comment and it came up. Sorry. <laughs> but uh, focus on the good in your life. So when you're scrolling through social media and you see someone and you feel that jealousy, that envy, you got to remember what's good in your life. You got to reflect back. And I would say at that time, don't go down the rabbit hole. Put your phone away. Stop scrolling. When you feel those emotions, you need to be in tune with your emotions. And when you feel those emotions of jealousy or envy, you need to put that phone away and you need to go reflect. You need to maybe think about what's good in your life. Be grateful. The attitude of gratitude. That's what you need. Be grateful. Every night, me and my son say three things we're grateful for from today. Right. And then we say three things we're grateful for in life. Right. So be be aware of what good you have, even though you might feel like that. Oh, my God, I want that. That person has. You might feel that maybe you don't even want that. As I said in the beginning, I realized I didn't even want that. So focus on what you already have and and what you're looking at. Is that what you really want? And if you do really want that, it's OK. You don't have to be jealous. Be inspired by that person. Instead of using jealousy as an emotion, use inspiration, which brings me to my fourth point. Be inspired. Celebrate the other person's success. Because when you celebrate their, their success and when you genuinely feel good about others' success, you will get that success. Because what you put out there is what you get. The energy that you're sending out. If you're sending that energy of jealousy and negativity, that's what you're going to get back, right? Hey, Casey, thanks for hopping on, girl. So put that positive energy out. So be inspired. Celebrate their success. Say congrats to them from heart, not just because you want engagement. No, from your heart. Be genuinely happy for them because that's when you're going to attract that same abundance, same success for yourself as well. So instead of being jealousy, jealous or envious or talking to someone about it and saying, oh, my God, look at that person. Look at them. They're doing this. Oh, I think they're lying. Instead of saying that, be genuinely happy for the other person. Raise your vibration with others and celebrate. Exactly, Casey, you know, raise your vibration. Bring yourself. So when you see someone succeeding and you feel like you're here, you need to celebrate it. And by celebrating it and by being happy for them, you're actually raising your vibration. But by being jealous, you're actually going even lower. You're going even down, right? You're putting yourself in that rabbit hole and you don't want that. And then the last one is avoid the people who value wrong things. And I'm not, 
even though I said wrong, there's nothing wrong. I mean, there is certain wrong emotions or strong attitude or bad attitude, but people who, so if you value, so for me personally, I value travel. I value eating out in amazing fine dining restaurants. I don't value um, a brand name purse maybe, right? One or two, I have one, I'm happy. I don't want like, you know, I'm, I shouldn't say I don't want, I do want it, I do want it, but I don't value it. So if I have to compare, if someone says, oh, you can spend a thousand dollars on a purse or you can go on a vacation, I'm gonna pick the vacation first. And then I'm gonna attract the abundance to also get the other thing. So what do you value? And then see, are you in alignment? Are your values in alignment with the person you're feeling jealous of, right? Because it may be that you have different values and you're just feeling jealous and not realizing that you don't even value that. Um, hey, thanks for hopping on Arjun. Ask others who are successful what they're doing and learn from them. Yes, learn from them, be inspired. And that brings me to the perfect thing. I mean, I'll still talk about this is that learn from them. I, my coach Kathleen, like, oh my God, this woman is a powerhouse. And I'm learning from her because she has created abundance in her life. She has totally transformed her, her life in one year. She has made almost $2 million already in this year. And it's the year is not even finished yet. We still have the last quarter to go. And she has created this abundance and this amazing life for herself. And instead of being jealous, she inspires me. I'm not jealous of her at all because I look up to her and I'm like, oh my God, I want to create what she created and I'm going to learn everything that she's doing. I'm going to consume it all. So she has a free mindset mindset group. If you want to be added to that, let me know. I will add you in the group um, because man, you will learn so much. And right now she's actually doing a five days manifestation challenge. And guess what? She has a special guest coming on on Saturday, Bob Proctor. Um, so Bob Proctor is going to be on there on Saturday. So if you want to be part of this group, uh, you know, let me know. I'll add you in the group. So learn from others, you know, be inspired instead of being jealous. Because when you are, the main thing is that you have to have the attitude of abundance. When you feel abundance, then you don't feel jealous because there's a lot for everyone. Kate, I'll send you the link to the group and we'll have you in. Uh, you're going to love, love, love this group. And especially Saturday, I'm so excited to listen to Mr. Proctor, because, oh my God, this, this man. So, you know, when you feel that abundance, then nothing will bother you because there's enough for all of us. There's enough out there for every single one of us. The reason you're jealous is because you feel that they have taken your share. You feel robbed. You feel that they stole from you, but it's not true. Everyone is creating their own abundance and there's so much abundance in this world. And we can all have our share. We can all have whatever we want to have. Um, so that's what I had. Let me recap quickly. Um, so the five ways that you can overcome jealousy, especially when you are on social media, because that's where it's right now all you know created. Uh, number one, understand marketing. Advertising is done in a way to invoke those feelings of jealousy in you. So understand how marketing works. Number two, um, what you're seeing online is not the full picture. It's just the highlight reel. So people don't show the negative stuff in their life. Number three, um, gratitude. Be grateful for what you have. When you're grateful, nothing can bother you. Nothing can affect you. Uh, number four, avoid the people who value wrong things right? Avoid the people whose values don't align with you. So you focus on your values. That's what is most important. And lastly, when you see someone succeeding, instead of being jealous, be inspired and celebrate their success and learn from them. Hey, Michelle, thanks for hopping on. Um, so that's what I had. Um, next week, I have a special guest uh, next Wednesday. Uh, this woman is... Um, I don't want to give it all away, but she has taken her life from being in debt to creating this life of abundance. Um, she is Canadian and uh, 
you're going to love it. So don't forget to hop on same time next Wednesday. We will have our special guest with us. I can't wait to hear from her. Um, someone just said, hi, I can't see your name because you need to click on the link in my description and give StreamYard uh, permission to show your name or just type your name in the comments and let me know who it is. Hey, Stacy, how are you, girl? Thank you, everyone who hopped on. Um, Casey says, uh, I have learned so much from others who have done what I have been striving to do. And it has made all the difference for me and how I now show up. Casey, you are so inspirational. Like when I see you, I'm like, yes, that's what I am going to create. I love, love, love your energy. Um, yes, Stacey, I can see your name now. Awesome. Thank you so much, Mark, for hopping on. That's it, guys. Thank you so much, everyone, for hopping on. Um, I am doing my Instagram launch today, so that's um, interesting. Um, thank you so much. I will see you guys next Wednesday, and you guys have an amazing day and a beautiful, sunny life.